Gronowigan, now a junior, has started in every game except one during her freshman season. She was Big Ten Freshman of the Year and was the first Gopher to be awarded Big Ten Pitcher of the Year. Last season, Gronowigan was Big Ten Player of the Year. She's only the third player in conference history to earn all three of those titles. Honestly, just like I said before, putting all the work in the off season, that's kind of where that award comes from. And if my team wasn't as successful as we were last year, there's no way I would have won that award. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of like a lot of hard work that gets put behind it, and it's not just me; it's the whole team. To Gronowigan's teammates, she has swag on the mound, but she believes that she plays instinctively. Um, I really have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> I really don't, but um, I guess just, um, I think just my confidence really. Her teammates say her swag affects the whole team. Fellow pitcher Hannah Evavold explained. If you know she's on the mound, you know she's going to go right at batters, like I said, and you know she's going to throw her heart out there. She's never going to be timid and scared, and that's like reflects on how we play behind her. Um, like outfielders diving for balls or infielders like making unbelievable plays because she's throwing everything she has out there and we're going to do it behind her as a team. Gronowigan and Eva Vold lived together along with two other teammates. They became roommates their sophomore year, which is when Eva Vold found out that Gronowigan had type 1 diabetes. Eva Vold says it rarely affected Gronowigan at games or practices, so she never knew. Gronowigan sees the game as a function of each player and tackles her diabetes the same way. I like to think of it as... Um, like people with a sprained ankle, they need to tape their ankle or like they need to take care of it that way. And whereas my diabetes is just another thing I have to take care of um, before a game, after a game. But um, yeah, it's a struggle, but you, there's definitely ways around it. Reporting for Murphy News Service, I'm Marley Hine.